The companies that are operating in Scotland in marine energy are absolutely full of dedicated professional individuals who are really passionate about the sector and about the contribution they can make to a better future. I really do feel that we're at that tipping point now because we are witnessing that private sector confidence in these technologies and they are now at the point where they want to ramp up and see projects of scale being progressed. Being based in Scotland gives these companies the advantage of the industry that has been growing here over the last 20 years. These companies are proving their business models in the real world, deploying technology in real sea conditions and preparing themselves for the next stages of commercialisation. Companies like Orbital Marine, Nova and Motion have already seen investments to help support their business models. Investment has come from interesting supply chain businesses like Technip FMC. There are a range of companies established in Scotland who are offering different types of products for global markets. There are tidal companies, large and small, aiming at different markets in terms of the speed of flows or the size of turbines. But we've also got some wave companies who are targeting completely different types of markets. Wave energy really is the largest untapped source of renewable energy on the planet. Uh, we think that wave energy has the potential to supply about 3% of the world's global electricity needs. Uh, compared to other renewables, it's very predictable and it's very consistent. Uh, at Motion, we're developing technology that generates renewable energy from ocean waves. We've built our prototype and tested it at sea. Now that prototype is being used with a commercial focus project where we'll be providing power to customers' equipment in our first market, which is oil and gas. To date, we've raised 1.6 million in investment. We're raising another 2 million right now. Uh, and I would say we're at the commercialization stage. So we're raising that investment to productize the innovation and deliver it to customers within the next two years. We've brought on new board members, including a new chair uh, who has experience with high growth companies, and that's in support of our own growth journey. We're looking at uh, opportunities in both the oil and gas decarbonizing operations, as well as in the offshore wind sectors, which are huge here. And there's a, a really uh, excellent supply chain uh, for building and manufacturing these devices and, and shipping them all over the world. Scotland's at the forefront of the sector because there's a long history of sort of interest in the sea, as well as a very supportive government who wants to enable renewable technology and make Scotland a, a leader in this sector. Nova Innovation is a tidal energy company. Uh, we build, install and operate uh, tidal turbines which are, are in effect underwater wind turbines that convert the ebb and flow of the seas and ocean into clean, predictable electricity. Scotland's a, a great place to grow a business like uh, Nova Innovation and the tidal energy sector. We have an abundance of resource around our coastline and islands. Uh, we have a very strong R&D sector and most importantly now we have a very strong supply chain that can help us scale the business and the sector. We're now at a very exciting stage in the, the growth and evolution of Nova Innovation. It's no longer a case of if this can be done or is it cost competitive. We've already achieved those things. It's all about acceleration and scaling of the business and taking the technology and the business to market. Nova Innovation installed the world's first offshore tidal array in the Shetland Islands in the north of Scotland. Uh, that has been powering the Shetland grid businesses and homes for well over six years. Previously the market for tidal energy has been embryonic in a few countries. It is now scaling and accelerating. Um, previously we've deployed turbines in Scotland, in the UK. We're now deploying turbines in Canada, in France, 
and looking at new markets in Indonesia, Philippines and Japan. What the markets are looking for is clean, predictable electricity at a cost-effective price. And that's what we are now in a position to be able to do. We're now at a point where we have a proven technology, a solid business with an outlook that's really looking for help to scale and internationalise to capture the global market. Simic Atlantis Energy are a global leader in tidal stream energy project development. We are a pure project development business, so our focus is entirely on developing out the sites and getting them ready for construction and taking them through to commercial operations. The Magen project is the largest tidal stream energy project in the world, both from an operational point of view and from a development standpoint. The Magen project is based in the north of Scotland, between the mainland and the island of Stroma, in the Pentland Fert, in the Inner Sound. The Magen project has now been operating for over five years, and this provides a huge amount of confidence for investors to get behind the technology. It's had five years operating data, so it's been operating since, since late 2016 to date. Having generated 37 gigawatt hours, that's, that represents over 70% of the total tidal energy production in, in the UK on one site alone. The sector is an enormously exciting place to work and, and has progressed massively over the last 20 years. We are now at the cusp of another major shift in the industry where we're moving into a complete commercialization following in the footsteps of offshore wind. It's a very exciting time to be involved in tidal stream energy and particularly for investors who are seeking to invest in new types of renewable energy technology. Orbital Marine Power is a uh, innovative uh, tidal technology business. Orbital is almost like a boat, it's a ship. It's a ship that floats on the surface. It has turbines that come down under the water when they're generating, but importantly come up through the water and present themselves to the surface when they're not generating for O&M. That effectively means that we get the best of both worlds. We can install and maintain the, the devices cheaply, easily and quickly, but we have the power takeoff equipment in the area of the ocean that generates the most power. That means low cost, it means high uptime, and from a project economics point of view, it means that these projects are investable, defendable and robust from a financial point of view. People realise that decarbonising uh, electricity generation is critical to our net zero ambitions. The sector has now got itself to a place where we can prove it can be done. You know, we've got turbines in the water generating commercial volumes of low carbon predictable power. So the question is now starting to be, how quickly can you do it? How big can you do it? And eventually the question will come, how cheaply can you do it? So we're at a point now at the start of a, a cost reduction curve, but that is also the start of a commercialisation curve. We recently brought Technip FMC in uh, as, a, a, as a minority shareholder. They've looked and done due diligence and they've decided that the tidal sector is something that they're interested in. They've decided that the tidal sector has so much potential that they want to be a part of it. News like that is great news for the whole sector, not just for us. We're actually on the, the cusp now of showing that we can do this at commercial scale.